When it comes to managing your weight at home, options for those digital scales, well, they're pretty much endless. But can those scales that reportedly measure things like body mass index and body fat percentage actually be helpful? Channel 2 Sophia Ojeda reports the scales equipped with all those bells and whistles can sometimes produce some distressing results. They tend to overestimate the percent body fat. And so when we tell people this is what you should be or this is your goal and you're seeing in spite of all of your hard work, gee, I'm still way over, you might be, that misinformation might be discouraging. Several studies look at different digital body fat scales and how they stack up compared to devices used in medical research. And data shows most are fairly inaccurate. Dr. Heinberg says the biggest concern in using these scales is people could be getting the wrong information and the information could cause unnecessary stress. The readings might be so discouraging that they could cause a person to give up or engage in really extreme or unhealthy diets. Dr. Heinberg says while getting feedback on weight and body fat percentage can be helpful, these numbers are not always the best measure of healthy behavior. She says body fat percentage data can be useful at the beginning of a weight loss journey. However, it's best not to get caught up in measuring everyday fluctuations. Something like a percent body fat is, is a great thing to do before you initiate a diet or an exercise program and then maybe one or two months later but checking it every day or every few days is not going to really be helpful. If you really want an accurate assessment, Dr. Heinberg suggests talking to your doctor because they have tools that can measure more accurately. Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News.